Well, there, guys. It's my turn for uh, Juicy Tales, so um, let's go and do it. Corey Jane, and Jane keeps oh. it in play. Brilliant! His strength is his fiend. He's got the best fiend, I believe, in the game. Corey Jane! Jane for the corner! Corey Jane! First jersey on the agenda is uh, 2006 um, Commonwealth Games for the Sevens. Oh, I guess that was a huge start for my career. Obviously, I played a little bit of Lions before then, but not really a big Sevens player. You know, I played in four tournaments before it. Got picked in the, the Commonwealth Games team, and Obviously nerve-wracking but exciting at the same time and being inside the village and I guess a real cool moment and then obviously winning gold against England in the final kind of topped it off. I got my all-black test debut jersey, number one. I was on the bench, I got six minutes of gold. I remember myself through the whole game, this is the bench, and I'd get down there and start stretching, trying to look up at Ted and all them to just go, oh, come on, man. Everyone else is getting on the field except for me. I thought it'd be quite embarrassing if I stayed on the bench and never got on. And I got everyone in the squad to sign it. Obviously, the, the All Black management and coaches didn't even know who I really was because they spelt my name wrong and they put an E in it. I don't really mind if my name's spelt wrong. Um, I've been called worse things. My mum doesn't like it. When we got our stuff the day before, we showed it to my room, put it on and stood in front of the mirror because it was the first time I was in the All Black kit. Put it on, looked in the mirror and I like, yeah. yeah, you look uh, big and strong. Uh, even though I probably wasn't big and strong, but it meant the world. Because I, I remember at six years old, seven years old, playing rugby for Umutaka. Um, all I wanted to be was an All Black. So, big moment for Corey Jane. Test debut for him. Taken down by Jane and a good tackle. I remember saying it through all school, and even when I missed teams, I want to be an All Black. So, um, it was pretty cool. Next jersey, uh, 2011 uh, Rugby World Cup final jersey. Probably not the best game ever. Um, watching it, I've never watched the final again, so I, uh, I just remember being in it and how horrible it was, but we ended up winning, and we probably scared all of New Zealand, uh, not only ourselves. I had a shocker that year. I'd actually missed out on the All Blacks. I was in his injury cover. Uh, we were playing South Africa here, and I was just like, oh, this is my do or die kind of scenario. Up the middle he goes. He's got Smith with him. Oh, Down himself. Corey Jane back to his best. And I managed to score a couple of tries out here. One where I stepped through and scored in the corner and banged on the chest, and it kind of got my confidence back. Uh, you know, we started so well in that competition, and I guess we played our complete game against Aussie the week before, and then got to the final and kind of pooed the bed a little bit and struggled, and, uh, but we managed to come away with it. I guess that jersey is special in, in that sense that I got to go to a World Cup, and we got to win it here in New Zealand. Next is number 100 for the Canes. Obviously a special moment because a team that I love and a, and a city that I love, it was, it was just special. We played the Hagawaris. It was quite cool. So I had my Ponamu at the end and I had my family and it was cool. I, I guess it was even better because, you know, we won. You know, I got to celebrate playing 100 for the team that I love. Last one is the championship uh, when we got to win it. I was on the wing that one. Um, so 2016, and I guess that year, there was myself, TJ, Brad Shields, Matty Proctor, and we all came to uh, Plum, our D coach, and we said, we need to change the way we're Dean, and we need to go and get teams. And it, that's how it started for us defensively, and we just started getting to the point where, you know, we were bringing line speed, and everyone bought into it, and it was pretty cool to win. I had a goal at the beginning of that year to show at 33 years old that I could still compete with these young guys in Super Rugby, and I felt that I did that that, that year, so that was, it was an amazing year, not only for me being that old, but it was an amazing year for the Hurricanes and uh, you know, to win it was something I'll never forget. Now Yankees, Lloyd loved the pass, Mapu got it, and he put it straight into the arms of Corey Jane! And this time he scores! That was my Jersey tale, thank you for letting me share it. <laughs>